Every time you overcome a class trial, there's a hope's peak. A whole new world will open up to you. The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! 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 Hey, there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. This hot girl's gonna go nuts when she finds out. You understand? If things cannot continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't want to, it's just... The gun? I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boys' locker room, and the same goes for the girls. Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your ebook to another student is strictly prohibited. However, Colts Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control has have been made it necessary. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open! I, we're still trapped in a piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if we should discover something. So then. And nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e handbooks have been updated. Really? New regulations have been added. So please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Are you going to add the regulations now? He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your ebook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. There isn't anything remarkable or noteworthy about the trash can. I got a coin though, so ha! Uh, there was something remarkable or noteworthy. I can't let myself turn away from Sayaka's death. For Sayaka and for myself. She did try to frame you and then kill you, you know that? The area, yes. Wait, is Sayaka's room still there? Sayaka. No, I can't waste time on this. sentimentally. Now the others may be waiting for me in the dining hall. Let's go to the bathroom. The others must be waiting. I know that they'll be waiting. I just want to go somewhere else. Let me go in here. Taco is right. We certainly can get in here now. Others must. Frick you! I want to go into a different room than the dining hall. I've been in the dining hall multiple times now. Ah! Let me into the bathhouse! Taco was right. We really can get in here now. But the others must be waiting for me in the dining hall. Running to the classroom. I don't have any reason to. Frick! Okay, fine. Go. Just because you won't let me do anything. Morning, Makoto. Morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo! Nope, still waiting on... Um... By... By Kua and Taka. By Kua is not... No surprise, but strange. Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see... I don't mind waiting for them, but there's one problem. Which is... <sighs> I'm thirsty. Hey, come on! How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Fumi, would you make me some tea? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... Why me? Let's see... Your, round, your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? That, that is weird. This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Uh, um. Okay. Apparently unable to refuse the last order, Hifumi sulked his way into the kitchen. And a few moments later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting. 
Fumi reappeared with a tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. I emphatically decline. You're not my type at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all about love, casualty, basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh, wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? what the? Uh, hey, what are you doing with my little play rabbit? Mm. I hate this kind of tea. Um, uh, um I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and order some tea. They then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I replied, ah, oh, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process, but from the on outset, the fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink it is like dousing your f fries in ketchup, mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review the menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction of what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um. um, I think I went to all that trouble to make you that tea, and you want me to go even farther? <sighs> Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well... Well, um... We don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! Why does that matter? Hurry up and bring me what I ask for, swine! I think she's getting comfortable. <laughs> I think See, what? what? Oh, okay, you're loaded. <laughs> you I do so love corn, corn, corn. What does that mean? What is that word? Cor, coercion. Huh? You were like a totally different person just now. <laughs> yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... <laughs> Bad news, everyone. There is a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> I would say Biaka refused to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there? I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that... He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that meant... What that might mean. I, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah! I was just about to suggest the same thing! What's your Stop problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone! Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well then. Very well. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um. Yeah, before it's you know too late. Anyway, we just have to we have to just do our best to find Yaka. So where might Yaka have gone? Maybe we went to go check out the second floor of the school again. Are you just gonna stand there, Celeste? Are you going to help look for Yaka? <laughs> I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me... Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you are in a hurry, feel free to motivate and fill me to move faster. Oh, okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? Hey, Hifumi. She wants you to go faster. Mm -hmm. Ah, Mr. Niyagi. What's going on? Well, nobody's seen Biyaka this morning, so we've all decided to go looking for him. What? Oh, what? That's not good at all! However... However, this little piggy needs to have a holy etiquette... 
a dyke to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. What? <laughs> to bless this undeserving swine of such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. I don't like you. Okay, any thought that he was adorable is gone. I just don't like him now. <laughs> uh oh, okay. Good luck with that. Fumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. So he is utterly useless. I see two people down that hallway. I'm going to the back. Ooh. Oh, hi. What are you doing in here? Yo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come Shit. on. Shit, where the hell did he go? go? He's got his head sucked so far out his ass. Who knows what's going on with him? I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah. After spending all night wearing your hog, wind in your face, there's nothing better than a morning dip. The hot water loosens you up, and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sure thing, I'll have to take your word for Why? all that. What, you don't know what, what? I'm talking about? Nerd. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time, you'll see. Uh, I'll think about it. What is he talking about? But I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here in the school, right? Lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. There's massage chairs over here. Using the massage chair would make me feel kind of old. I got a point. I got a coin. Is that into the actual bath, or...? Oh, it is! The bathtub is huge. I can't see anything in here. Is there even a security camera? It doesn't seem to be. There's no camera in the bathhouse! I can see who enters, but they don't know what they are doing inside. What the? What is this? It's a sauna. I thought I was leaving. What's this? Is it the heat source in the sauna? I didn't know that there was also a sauna. What the heck? Sauna. Shelves upon shelves. Hello. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. I get kind of excited looking at it all. There's all kinds of foods stacked up. From basic ingredients to snacks and candy. It's everything anyone could ever ne want or need. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. I can never get half the stuff in the outside world. Oh, that's the same thing. There's a fridge Sayaka mentioned. It's stuffed tight with food and drinks. Oh, so if we can't get into the dining hall, we can just go into the storage room. Surveillance camera. Someone's using these cameras to watch people die. As much as it gets on my nerves, I better leave it alone. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on right now. It's just showing the school press. If I break it, Monokuma might come and punish me. Up. Anything up? Nope, it's all the same stuff up. Okay, I'll talk to you now. <clears throat> Aha! I see you came to search this area as well, Mak Makoto. Hmm. But you were one step too late. I've already finished my investigation and there was no trace of Buyaka here. You hear me? An army marches on its stomach, as they say. In other words... So I thought maybe he'd come here to have his fill. <clears throat> We must all eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. You understand? Anyway, now is no time to get discouraged. We must head elsewhere to continue our search. Y yeah, you're right. Okay, let's leave. Confusing. Okay, what? Why are you in front? Of what? Why are you here? Hey, Toko. Hanging out with Hina, huh? What's your problem? Well, what? You have a problem with that? No. <laughs> Something might have happened, right? Being alone right now might not be safe. So you got scared and decided to stay close to Hina? 
I guess everyone has a softer side. <laughs> as long as I'm with the sports idiot, if something d does happen, I'm sure she'd jump in without thinking and take the fall. Huh? Well, what? what? Are you e eavesdrops? Awful! You're just uh, awful! <laughs> g g get lost, you stray cat! I wouldn't be surprised if she started killing people. She feels like a person that would. Hey, Hina, any luck? Hmm. Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on his door and nothing. Hmm. Come on already, open up! C careful, you're gonna bust the door down hitting it that hard. <laughs> Relax, it's nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Ah. Sakura's really awesome, you know? If she really wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds. Uh, I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist, she might actually be able to do it. Hmm. Hmm. I've been knocking long enough. I think I can stay for sh say for sure he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go look around for him. Yeah! Okay, good luck! This way? The bathroom, is he taking a dump? You're in here. What are you doing in the bathroom, hero? Hmm. Oh, huh? Oh, well. According to the spirits. I consulted the spirits and those are fish, man. Those are fish. He had a bathroom emergency and couldn't make it to breakfast. Well, his gut forced him to spend all morning in the can. No way. I was totally wrong. Swing and a miss. Three strikes. I'm out. Yeah, Vivaka doesn't seem like the kind of guy to have problems like that. Those are fish. A bunch of little fish swimming around inside. Those are fish. Kushiro, those are fish. Yes. Did he go into the elevator? I really don't want to go in. I don't want to see this place ever again. <laughs> okay. Store. Is he buying something? No, he is not. But I will. Would you like to try your hand against... Yep, give it a shot. Alright, since it's a low percentage, I'm go just gonna use one coin. Oh, I got the same thing. Lucky? Why did it say lucky? Oh, I got a second one! Got an item. Okay. Oh, lucky! Got a pen! I know I'm literally in the middle of like a dire situation and I'm just um, getting items from the store, but you can't really pull me, can you? I should probably get going. Yeah, yeah, uh, right. I need to go find the missing uh, glasses guy. So far, I only found Taka. Well, I think on the first floor, anyway. No, I found him in the storage room. Never mind. So he's o one of the only people I found. Yes, sir. Hey. So you thought to come here too, huh? So... If you think about it, Buyako was so interested in yesterday. You can probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was interested in again? The library? He was interested in the library, but I want to talk to everyone else. Oh, hey, Sakura. <laughs> Sakura. It would appear Buyaka is not here. <clears throat> Since this morning, I thought he might have gone to the locker room to exercise. But I forgot the girls can't open the boys' locker room door. Well, yeah, true. Mm. I knocked, but nobody answered. I listened for the sound of equipment being used, but there was nothing. So he must not be in there. Besides, Biyaka doesn't seem like the time to go sweat it all out this early in the morning. Do you exercise every single morning, Sakura? Of course. Of course. <laughs> if I didn't get my blood pumping early in the morning, it would throw off my rhythm for the entire day. Okay. I'm still gonna go in. Dead. 
I know where he is, I'm just exploring right now. Where he has to be, at least. I didn't go in here the other time. Reality isn't everything? Why are you... You look like a bear! Oh. Library... When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out, cried out in some surprise. Byaka? Uh, Yaka? Of all the things I'd imagine, this most definitely was not one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? Reading? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. You! Piaka, and this is where you've been hiding? Uh. The heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. <laughs> Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but I might just prove useful at some point. Well... What are you reading? A mystery novel. Well... Wait, so are you going to use that, what you learned, in there to betray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Wait, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you might as well make sure it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself, enjoying the deranged killing game. Damn you! What do you mean, game? That's f <laughs> But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> He's right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It's a part of a part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, there are what <laughs> what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. This type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, in it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually, interesting zones, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something, which is limited. For you. For you to succeed, someone else must fall. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So, in other words, so this game was designed from the, the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. The, the, that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to despair. There would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. He is deranged. What the frick? The smile was filled with evil intent. It's <laughs> twisted his face <laughs> something. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami air appearance. Togami air... air apparent. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but... What if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a Who bitch! Who the f*** do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, ed brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna... Kill you. Don't make me repeat like myself. Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but <sighs> do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent, affluent prodigy. 
After all, a boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so? By by Bayaka. I'm just calling him Bayaka. I don't care at this point. At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I'm the same as you. Dreams are meant to be long. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well. I do apologize. Hm. Anyway, let's just say this is to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give in the best, where's the fun for me? N no. Th that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill our own friends is... is it's horrific! <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but... But... But, you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Um... um. Come on! Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth sh closed. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop fucking around! Hey, shithead, you get off on bullying people that can't fight back. You wanna try that on me? <laughs> so you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! You! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you could waste your breath on such empty gib gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it, you're f dead. Just a second! Uh, hold on, just calm down. Piece of shit! I am calm! Oh, how is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food, and I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. <laughs> Shit. Quit talking like you're in a f movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. The second glance back, Biyaka left. There wasn't any anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with well, me! Well, him then! <clears throat> but maybe... But what he said, he might not n necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you s say for sure someone won't poison our f food? Hmm. Hey, come on! You too, Toko? Anyway... Well, it's not like anyone could care, even if it was... If I w was gone, right? <clears throat> Actually, I bet you all want me gone! You all think I'm d disgusting! None of us think that. Uh, I you tell you. Just think, you don't think that! Uh. What? I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. Mm. You think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone, and I'm, I'm sh sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Hey, uh, hey, Toka, wait, Toko, <laughs> just let her go. When she's gets going like that, there's nothing you can do, nothing you can say to bring her back. Yeah. Well, to me. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone head back to their rooms. Free time? Jeez, I'm tired already, but I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Yay, free time! Dining hall? I haven't seen anyone yet, that's weird. Oh, there's someone. What are you Did doing? you need something? Well, if it isn't the D rank of Makoto, is something the matter? Hmm? Should I hang out? No. Go see who else is around. Nope. I just had a realization, though. What? people are and... Let's go. All right. Hello. 
hello. What do you want? Ah, well. Hello. Funny me, you mm -hmm. here. Salute to you. you. Salute. I just it. saluted. Did you see? Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. Let's see who else is around. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, hello. Oh. <sighs> um. Oh, Makoto. I didn't realize you were there. Hmm? Should I try to cheer up? Yes. I also do. But I also want to see if I can find somebody. Maybe if I can talk to three people, I'll talk to, uh... I'll talk to the other chick. I want to talk to Yo. Mondo. What's up, man? Something wrong? Hmm, should I hang out with Mondo for a while? Yeah. Jesus Shit, Christ. Shit, man. Normally I don't hang out with guys this much, but... You kn know what I mean? But I got some time to kill, so whatever. Spent some time with Mondo... Mondo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Mondo a present? Do I have a present he would like? I don't know what he would like. Show off the manliness. Probably? Maybe? Perfect. I'll risk it. You want to fight? Nope. <sighs> Whoops. Did not mean to do that. If I do want to be friends with that guy, I didn't mean to offend him. I thought he would actually like that. Whoops. I get sucks. out of this depressing ass shithole. Get down to the beach or something. Uh, yeah. Spend some time with Hell him. Do yeah. not give him a present. I killed some time with Mondo. Mondo and I grew a little closer today. Not really, no. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Another day gone. But even though today is over. This game definitely isn't... How long is it, this going to keep going? All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Here. Never spot a cute girl. I have a t tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. 